Hey, this is a quick message for subscribers to my newsletter, Crypto is Easy. If you are not subscribed, click the link in the description below. Head on over, and if you like what you see, please go ahead and sign up. Bitcoin crashed today, and uh, I got a, so I got some questions like, Mark, what, what, what do I think? Are we going to go lower? Is this just a dip? Should we buy the dip? Should we wait? Um, my attitude about it is we're going to have to wait and see. Bitcoin's price went back to where it was 10 days ago. So... If you weren't worried 10 days ago, you probably don't need to be worried right now. We're just going to have to see where the market takes us. Um, you know, if you're subscribed, if you follow my plan for Bitcoin's bull market, you know that we're not doing anything. Uh, price is going to have to go down a lot lower before we are going to be buying back into the market. And, uh, you know, I think that's really realistic. I've been saying for a while, I mean, really, since, since Bitcoin went above, since Bitcoin's price went above $16,000, it's been a very risky situation. Uh, until it went up to $16,000, I mean, th no problems at all, no worries at all. But once we hit $16,000, you, you saw it. You saw all the things that I was talking about where, I mean, just every, with every, pay, every dollar it went up, the risks started going up and the, the, and the upside started going down. So for me, you know, if you subscribe to me, you know, I'm very disciplined. Uh, the market... I think um, if you're not, if you, uh, who was, ah, I can't remember who said it, but somebody said the market is very generous with first, and, no, what do you say? It was the market was the market. If this is just talking about investing in general, markets are very generous with second chances. And so I think that we'll probably have a second chance. Uh, if that means Bitcoin's price is going to drop down to something around 18,000, you know, that'd be realistic. It happened before. It'll happen again uh, already. I mean, uh, if you if you saw my article uh, about how uh, the bull market started in January 2019, uh, which it, it did, um, you can see it on any price chart. 2019, we went up in summer 2019, back down. Even when we crashed in March, higher than it was in January 2019. And now look where we are. So, you know, you figure it's probably been about two years now that we've been in the middle of a bull market. People didn't realize it because, I don't know, people are just people. Um, we didn't go back to an all-time high. Not like you need to have an all-time high to have a bull market. But, I mean, it just, the people's mindset was just not, it just wasn't there. People weren't there. The, they, they weren't ready to embrace the idea that Bitcoin was in a bull market. And, um it, it, during that time, we've had two 50% crashes during that time. And those were amazing opportunities, amazing opportunities. Why can't we have another 50% crash now? Why can't we be at 20,000? Why can't we go down to 18,000? 18,000 would be a perfectly, I mean, it would be not out of the question at all. Now, does that mean we're going to? I don't know. Right now, this is not any time to worry. There's no reason to worry. Um, we were at the same price we were 10 days ago, and we're going to have to go a lot lower before you start seeing me tremble or even, uh, nah, I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. People say, okay, Tether FUD, uh, um, uh, what's her, Yellen, uh, Yellen saying B Bitcoin's bad, something like that, which is not what she said. Totally misquoted, totally taken out of context. Tether FUD, I mean, people have been shady, saying shady things about Tether for a long time. I, I, I'm not one of those who necessarily buys into the article, um, I posted another video on that. Let's see, what else came up? Oh, double spend attack. Uh, this, I mean, look, when the price, oh, manipulation, people are saying, oh, manipulation, this and that. Look, when the price goes down, people are going to come up with all sorts of reasons. When the price goes up, people are going to come up with all sorts of reasons. The value that I have in sticking to a plan, the, and if you're subscribed, you know what that plan is. Sticking to the plan is, we don't have to worry about any of that. We don't have to stress about it. Crypto is a hard market. It's a very, very hard market. People see the price go up and they think this is the greatest thing. Everybody's making money. But the truth is, it's not, that's not how it works. And I think there are a lot of new people coming into the market, and that might be you, where you're, you're not used to this kind of, of move, these, these sudden drops. You know, and everybody loves when the price just shoots up out of nowhere. Nobody likes the crashes. You can't get those massive gains that you're thinking about in your head, like, oh my God, Bitcoin's going to do this. All coins are going to do this. Whatever you have in your head, that vision for that result, that upside that you have, that maybe it's a number you have or an idea that you have for your lifestyle, 
for your financial security, for your financial welfare, you can get there in this market. And if you're subscribed to Crypto is Easy, we'll get there together. It's just not going to come easy. And moments like these are a great opportunity to kind of um, refocus, reset, get your mind straight. And remember that when you have, when the price goes down, that creates opportunities. Everybody says buy the dip. That doesn't mean you need to buy the dip. When price is going up, everybody says last chance. You're never going to see Bitcoin at this price. It doesn't mean you'll never see Bitcoin at that price. The most important thing is if you can take advantage of the opportunities when they come up, when the price is low, when the risks are low, when the upside is high, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. In moments like these, you're sleeping easy. This is, it, that's why you know, I call my newsletter crypto is easy. If you can do that, moments like these are easy. If you got in when you saw Bitcoin was going up to its all-time high, you were gambling. It's been a really risky time to buy Bitcoin for, I don't know, past two months, I guess. Uh, about, yeah, about two months, month, month and a half. Last six weeks, at least six weeks, have been a very risky time to buy Bitcoin. Now, whether that risk is being realized now and will continue crashing down, or whether this is just a normal dip, you know, Bitcoin does these things. And then next thing you know, psh, to the moon. We'll just have to see. And I'll keep you posted every step of the way. I'm actually about to record a video right now for uh, premium subscribers. The bottom line is this market is more about mindset and mentality than it is about any movement in price. And you're good for it. I know you're good for it. And you know you're good for it. And whatever happens, we'll get through it. Because by the time you watch this video, a day, two days, three days from now, who knows where we're going to be? It could be up to 40,000, 50,000. We could also be down 20,000, 16,000, 18,000, something like that. Either way, fundamentally, nothing changes. Nothing changes about Bitcoin or the opportunity. Relax and enjoy the ride.